<laughs> Don't you hate when your backpack catches the branches? So I'm Chris's sleep deprived carcass. <laughs> I only got two hours last night, but uh, you know, it is what it is. It happens all the time. I'm on my way to the pines in the first hot day of the season. It's going to be 85 today. I don't have any set goals other than to hopefully find that rare endangered pine barrens gentian flower. I'll at least find some cool insects. It's going to be a good day. It's going to be warm. And I'm betting there's going to be some cool insect activity, so uh, come along. So it's already pretty hot. It's definitely up in the 80s. Um, now, I don't like using this stuff, but the tick bombs out here are insane. And I really don't want to get Lyme disease this season. Fingers crossed. Let's see what we can find. Come on. Check out this lichen. You have no idea how hard it is to sneak up on this 12 spotted dragonfly, but it's hard. So one month ago, if that, this had uh, a lot of water in it. In a couple of months, there's going to be more blueberries here than uh, you can possibly handle. Being the Pine Barrens, there's a lot of lichens out here. These, once again, are British soldier lichen or red coats because of the red. You know, British soldiers back in the day had those red coats. Hmm. 
Maybe I shouldn't have kneeled on that. Oh well. Awesome, so two black six-spotted tiger beetles mating, obviously. <laughs> what the heck was that about? It's like bobbing for apples or something. So that means at least in this area, there will be more tiger beetles in the future. Recently, I watched a tiger beetle devour a cricket almost the same size as the beetle. It took the beetle an hour to pretty much completely consume the cricket. <laughs> Don't you hate when your backpack catches the branches? And that is why I choose the low-profile backpacks. So much for the bug spray. This is the third tick of the day. Two lone stars and a deer tick. This is a lone star and they can harbor many different illnesses. Lyme disease just being one of them. Forgive the noise for a minute, I'm next to the highway again. But I wanted to show you these prickly pear cacti. Yes, you do have cactus growing in the, the northeast. Pretty much this species can be found in uh, various habitats and it's pretty cool. Centipede and a massive grub. These are the grub of the stag beetle, I think. It's the reddish brown steak beetle. They're about this big. And uh, these are pretty much feeding on the decaying detritus and stuff beneath the, the log here. Needless to say, this grub can pack quite the bite. Have a look at all these carpenter bees. There are so many right now. In case you don't already know, carpenter bees are pretty big. These bees are at least an inch long. They're always mistaken for bumblebees, but bumblebees are about half this size. There's a lot of brood chambers right here, yet there's mating too. Usually, mating takes place elsewhere from where the females build these brood chambers. Pretty fun thing about carpenter bees is that the males often wear the perfume to attract the females. So they burrow into here, and there's ants going along up here, but the, the females will excavate these chambers, and then they mate, they breed, and then they lay the eggs in those chambers, and the young develop there in a relatively safe place. They seem to be having luck with the insects and the vertebrates. As always, that gets me kind of excited. I'm not exactly finding any snakes today. I did find a couple of fences and a couple of green frogs, but no snakes. Where to next? I'm going to the water. Man, I could be in the middle of nowhere. 
Somebody will drop down in their parachute and scare away whatever it is I'm filming. So a month ago, if that, if you recall, this whole place was underwater. In a few weeks, this pitcher plant is going to be in full bloom. So that sapling is practicing Tai Chi at the moment. You could say yoga, but it's Tai Chi. Well, I don't know if the campgrounds are open yet, uh, you know, because of the pandemic, but someone has obviously been here probably in the past day. So that's interesting. Yep. Yeah, that's pretty fresh. That could even be this morning. And there's a red-winged blackbird nearby. One of my favorite sounds of this time of year. Check out where the wind blew this branch back and forth kind of swept the, the floor, didn't it? So this is the male up here and he grabs the female using special claspers or cerci at the top, at the end of his abdomen. He grasps her behind her head and they remain in this position. An interesting fact is the male's reproductive organs are divided into two sections at different ends of the body. So he has to collect the sperm with one end and then use that end to deposit it into the female and thus fertilize her for future generations. Well, I seem to be invading a lot of privacy today. I assure you, it was unintentional. Seems that everything I'm filming today is in the act of reproducing. This is an adult blister beetle, and I have no idea what it's doing right now, but it's pretty fun to watch. Maybe it's looking for a mate. Seems to be the common theme for today. Okay, so the day's drawing to an end, and uh, I better pack up and head home. I got a busy week ahead of me. All in all, it was a really nice day. The tiger beetles and those dragonflies were by far the highlight for me. I didn't quite find the amount of diversity I expected to find today, but that's been happening out here a lot lately, and I'm not sure why. Hope you learned a few things, and if you enjoyed this video, you can follow me on Instagram under Chris Ignato. And I post a lot of photographs and things I don't share on YouTube. Thanks a lot for watching. Once again, I'm Chris Ignato, signing out. Once again, I'm Chris Ignato, signing out.